Hello YouTube, my name is Jeff, and I run a website called vegilcar.co.uk. I take ordinary waste vegetable oil, I clean it, and I run my car on it. Now I've got several videos out there about cleaning waste vegetable oil, and someone that's quite rightly sent me a question and said, you talk a lot about doing this and doing that, but you don't actually say what you do. And I thought that was a fair point. So today I'm going to talk about the system that I'm currently running. I haven't yet been doing it a year, so I can't claim it's fully tested, but it's a good system. It's working well for me, so I'm going to talk you through it. However, it, this is not going to be a blow-by-blow blow account. Um, this really is more advanced, so if you don't know anything about settling, if you don't know how to set up a tank, a settling tank, then have a look at my other videos, because if you don't understand the principles behind settling and settling tanks and what have you, what follows will not make any sense. So please look at those videos first before you judge this one. Right, so let's, let's get on with it. So what have we got? So what have we got? As you can see, we have four tanks. This is a settling system. It's nothing new to you. If you've followed my videos before, you'll see that the tanks are actually staggered. So let me see if I can show that to you. They're staggered here. This one is higher than that one, which is higher than that one, which allows the oil to flow from one to the other. So you can probably already guess what's going to happen here. But let me take you through the whole process. As you can see, this is the inside of my shed. Uh, you can see the walls are lined with polystyrene. That's how sad I am. I like to keep the temperature nice and steady and nice and constant. So what we do is we introduce a QV. Now this QV has sat elsewhere in my garage and you've got to imagine at the time this QV was full of oil. Now it sat for a few weeks and all the nice clean oil rose up to the surface and all the horrible gungy stuff sunk down to the bottom. And all that gungy stuff is right there as you can see it. So what did I do? I came along and I poked a little hole in my QB about there. The oil drained through slowly. You don't need to go fast, not at all. And it goes into a sieve. There's a sieve contained within a funnel here. And that goes inside a pipe, which is actually on the inside of this barrel, all the way to the bottom there. Oop, terrible drawing. All the way to the bottom. So the oil flows down there, introduced to the very bottom of the tank, where it slowly seeps upwards. Nice and slow, because this is a settling process. We don't want speed, we want things to be slow. So you can imagine all the clean oil has floated up to the top. And of course, it's got to go out somewhere, and it's going to overflow. So we building an overflow and this is the overflow pipe here and it overflows into this next barrel here inside this next barrel is another pipe all the way to the bottom as you can imagine sure enough the oil seeps into this one comes into the bottom and up it comes all nice and clean okay now guess what's going to happen next you probably have done it so as <laughs> the oil in this one settles it rises up to the top all the nice clean stuff it's got to overflow somewhere and at the back here you probably just about make out the overflow pipe which goes into this barrel here now this barrel here is a conical tank don't worry about the fact that it's a conical tank i just happen to have a conical tank but as we say so we've come along we've introduced our oil at stage one which was through the qv and it's settled and we put it into the first settling tank here, number two, where it's settled. And then that passed through here into the third tank where it's settled. And then we come along here to number four, which, if you like, is the fourth settling stage, if, if you want to look at it that way. So it's settled, 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 settled. And then it gathers inside this tank here. It just drips in slowly and it takes a while. Um, I might put one QB a day, probably less than that to be honest, and I leave it to take the whole day to drain through, because I don't want to rush this process, I want it to be slow, I want it to be gentle, I want all the nasty stuff to stay at the bottom and all the clean stuff to rise up. So you can just about make out the word max there, and there's a reason for that, because I don't want the oil to be any higher than that, otherwise it risks overflowing. And what 
we do then is we gather the oil in this tank until we reach this max and then it's ready now my logic is by this point it's already spotlessly clean it's already nice it's settled over here and by the time the oil gets here it's weeks old anyway so it's as settled and as clean as i think it's going to be but i'm a bit sad i've got all these filters knocking around that you can see here and i've got those because they're left over from previous projects from years ago when i first started experimenting with uh, filtering vegetable oil and because i've got them i used them so I need to get the oil from this tank here, where it's all just drained into, through these into this storage barrel here. So how do we do that? So what we do is we turn on a pump, which you just about make out there's a pump here. The pump goes on and it draws oil from the bottom of this conical tank right there. You can see there's a pipe and that pipe runs up the back here, up there, through first filter through the second filter through the third filter and back into the barrel where it's drawn to the bottom of the cone and the whole process starts again so if you like it's a constant recycling at this point in time we're just circulating that oil backwards and backwards and backwards through these three filters now what are these three filters let's have a close-up so these filters here are a 10 micron a 5 micron and the 1 micron so as I say our oil is coming up here it can't go that way because we've got a valve stopping it so it's going to go this way because our valve is open and it passes through the 10 gets clean passes through the 5 gets cleaner passes through the 1 gets even cleaner and then back down into the barrel so we've now got oil that's at least 1 micron inside this barrel and as we keep circulating the whole process over and over and over again eventually we've got to end up with nothing but one micron in that barrel so we let it pass we let it run for say half an hour or something like that until we're happy we're comfortable that that's gone through there as many times as it possibly can and now we want to get the oil back over here into our storage not back over just over to our storage barrel here and so how do we do that that's the point in time where we take this lever valve here and we flip it the other way we open up this flow so the oil can now come along here and it can flow down that pipe and in turn we close that one off so it cannot go that way so the oil comes up here thanks to the pump can't go that way comes through here goes through a one micron goes through another one micron and goes through a 0 0.5 a half micron i was very pleased to find a half micron and there it goes until it's all nicely inside this barrel now because it's me <laughs> you've probably guessed by now it goes in here look can you see there's a tube and that tube goes all the way to the bottom of the barrel at the bottom of the barrel the oil comes in and it settles because everything has to settle that's the way i build everything all settles nicely into the bottom and there it stores look you can see i've got a little indicator there that tells me how much oil you see i used it there look and <laughs> when i'm ready to drain the oil out i open up this tap here i put a little container in front of this so we say a bucket uh, it's not but in my case my shed isn't close enough to my car so i can't pump directly into the vehicle which is a shame so i have to put it into a container and take it out that way but there you go in a nutshell that's what i use it's a settling system it's a very advanced settling system and it's involving multiple tanks but at each stage settling is taking place settling here in the cubing settling in the first tank settling in the second tank going through here it's settled it's been settled settled three times then i'm just running it through mechanical filters just because i can because i've got them and there we go now you might turn around and say well do i have to use these mechanical filters and no you don't there's no need at all for you to use those mechanical filters if you don't want to well, i wouldn't go to the expense i really wouldn't recommend it uh, what you might want to do instead perhaps is maybe at this stage why not put a sock in there why not put a filter sock they're inexpensive so a one micron filter sock and then that overflow can go into there and then you know everything that's passing through there has got to be one micron 
and then from there once that's stored you can then pump it into your storage that kind of looks a bit obscene there doesn't it it wasn't intended to be but there you go and that's it i can't really think of anything else to say on the matter um if you're eagle-eyed you might have spotted these gauges at the back here and said what are they for and um, well they are just a means of keeping an eye on the filters actually and um, what they are is they m measure the pressure that goes into the filter so say. and this one if i remember rightly is a seven bar and this one is a four bar and so the oil comes up from our pump and it comes along and it goes into this filter now if it has a nice easy time which it doesn't because these are mechanical filters so it's going to struggle a bit so it's reaching pressure and that pressure is building up here and that's registered on this scale so once these start to get all gungy then that pressure is going to increase and so we're going to start seeing a higher reading on our on our pressure gauges so that's what we have a pressure gauge you just keep an eye on it and as the pressure gauge is higher than normal you think oh my filters are dirty and need changing and that's what they're there for now i'm going to be honest with you i've yet to change my filters i've been running this system just less than a year i'm running right about 70 liters a fortnight and um, so it's not a, a vast amount but it's just for personal use and i don't do that much motoring these days so i do about 70 liters a fortnight as i say and i've yet to change these filters at all so that gives you an idea of how clean the oil is that's coming through now others amongst you might turn around and say what's this strange looking thing down here and it's a good thing to spot it, it is actually a pressure relief valve and what it does is you've got to be careful of your pump you don't want to kill your pump they're expensive pieces of equipment and this one i believe is set to seven bar so if pressure builds up in this system let's say i was stupid and left both these taps closed then it's going to pump along here and the pump's got nowhere to push the oil and all that pressure is going to build up in the pump and it's going to ruin your pump which we don't want but once it reaches seven bar this pressure relief valve opens up and allows the oil to flow back into that barrel so that's what that's for and if you see anybody use the centrifuge you should see them use this pressure relief valve for that same reason that's what it's for usually and that's why I have one you've got to be careful with your valves obviously but that's what it's for just in case but as I say I'm not really convinced that you need to worry about that really I think all you need to worry about is this one and this one and maybe you could even make this one your storage you could certainly do that there's no reason as I say you might still want to put your sock there and just have it drain into that and use this one as your storage one instead so maybe you just have a three tank system as opposed to my four and there you go folks that's the system i'm currently using i hope you found it interesting i hope it hasn't baffled and confused you if it has maybe you need to go back and revisit the other videos on the subject uh, but do feel free to send me any questions if you've got them you can reach me via my website which is vagilcar.co.uk uh, send me an email if you've got any questions i'll happily answer them if there's anything else you want covered on these videos with regards to vegetal motoring please do again drop me a line i will do my best to help where i can so thanks for watching and if you can subscribe i would appreciate it because it helps me spread the message of vegetal motoring to people out there it's important to us all so let's get out there and use greener fuels so thanks again for watching.